Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to find a mode for ungrouped and group data. Let's take this example. In a factory, seven laborers are receiving daily wages. Here are the daily wages. Find the modal wage. Let us put all the daily wages in Google Sheets and I already have it here. So let's find the mode at the bottom equal sign type the word mode there are different formulas here mode mode multiple and mode single i suggest you use mode multiple because sometimes there's more than one mode so let's click this then highlight enter so here the mode is 800 so what do you call a distribution with one mode? We call that unimodal. Let's have the second example. Find a mode for the set of data values, 17 up to 23. Let us put all these numbers in Google Sheet, and we have 17 up to 23. You can actually find the mode over here. First, equal sign, type mode, Choose mode multiple, highlight, enter. So in this case, there are two modes, 20 and 21, because 20 and 21 both appear twice. Now, what do you call a distribution with two modes? We call that bimodal. How about I put 23 here? What is now the mode? So let's put the formula here. Equal sign. Mode. Choose mode multiple. Highlight all the numbers. Enter. And this time, there are three modes. 20, 21, and 23. Because 20, 21, and 23 appear twice at the same time and a distribution with three modes is what we call trimodal and if there are more than three modes we call that multi or multi modal let us now find for the mode for grouped data the steps are find a modal class and what is modal class that is class interval with the highest frequency let us take this example the class intervals are from 240 249 up to 300 to 309 so in solving for the mode using google sheet we will put all the lower limits in one column and all the upper limits in one column and the frequency in a separate column as well just like this so let's find the mode step one find the modal class modal class is the class interval with the highest frequency if this is our frequency the highest frequency is 10 and therefore the class interval is 260 to 69 let's highlight that and let's name it modal class then let us identify each part of the formula l is the lower limit of the modal class if this is our modal class its lower limit is 260 so let's put the value here 260 then fm is frequency of the modal class if this is our modal class and this is the frequency therefore the frequency of the modal class is 10. Next, FA here is frequency above the modal class. If this is frequency of the modal class above it is 8. So let's name it FA. And here FB is frequency below. So what's the frequency below 10? That is 6. So let's name it as F b then let's put the value here we have fa is equal to 8 
then FB is equal to 6. And lastly, we need to find the interval of the modal class. So our modal class is 260 to 69. To find the interval, just subtract 260 minus 250, or just simply count 260 to 69, and that is 10. Let us now find for the mode. In the formula, this is equals L equals click the value of L which is 260 plus here we need to group the numerator and grouped the denominator as well before multiplying the I. So we will put double parentheses then group the numerator click frequency of the modal class which is 10 minus frequency above which is 8 so we have to put parentheses indicating that we group these two together and then this line is division also we will group all the numbers by putting parentheses then type 2 Multiplication is shift asterisk and FM is 10 minus FA8 minus FB is 6, then close parentheses. And we have to put another parentheses before multiplying I shift asterisk and your I is 10. Then enter. So as you can see, the mode is 263.33. This is how you find for the mode for raw or ungrouped and group data. Hope you've learned something from me today. If you do, please support me by giving me a thumbs up. Share this video to those who need it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep safe. Bye-bye.